Hello again. So I have a shovel with beautiful colors in it. I'm Priscilla Battelle, and that's a 10 by 20 inch stretched canvas. I want to use colors similar to the colors that I have in my shovel already. Not that I can, but I'll try. I should put them in another dish and then scoop them up. That is a Venetian blue from... Who is it from? <laughs> it's modern. I want to know. It is... Modern Masters, as usual. There are too many moderns and too many masters. I think I've said that before. So this is a turquoise that I put iridescent pearl fine into from Golden. That is an island blue from Anita's. This is a folk art green gold. Here is a folk art emerald green. And some more Venetian blue. There's some Venetian blue with Anita's white. Yes, you can do it. Yes, yes. Oh, come on. Really? I just cleared this tip. So on my Am so, so on my link tree, there's an Amazon link, and you can find these awesome tweezers. And you just push them through, and if there's a big lump, it comes right out if you twist them. And then I have a little bucket of water I throw them into. And I actually have two pairs, so I don't have to worry about it, because I'm... In the middle of making videos, that becomes kind of not productive to want to clean tweezers. So this is some hot orchid from Color Art. This is some dioxazine purple with iridescent pearl fine in it again. And I am going to give it a little tiny bit of a stir. Then I'm going to try and make it go as many ways from Sunday as I can. Do I want some here? Yeah, I want some Prussian blue in there. And I don't think it needs to be even. Matter of fact, I'm going to try not to make it even. I'm going to do things in a sloppy fashion. Oh, I've got some. Some color, purple flash from Folk Art. And I'm going to throw a few more of those colors back in there. I might just want to throw all of the colors I'm using right in as I go along over here because I can. That's the Prussian blue. That was the turquoise flash from Folk Art. Why don't we just go ahead and give myself some real turquoise, excuse me, real purple flash. I don't know what it's going to be like yet, but I'm looking forward to finding out. There's some more turquoise. There's some more Venetian blue. Here's a little more hot orchid. And there is some more Venetian blue that's lightened up. Oh, come on! Really? That's not fair. I got paint on my fingers. I've got some peacock from... I had some peacock. Uh, Okay, let's use a similar color and hope that it's ready to go. I don't know what it is. It's turquoisey and metallic-y and shimmery. And let's do, let's do what I did to start in the middle. See how far we can get this to go. And it does not matter if these are the same on both sides. It doesn't matter if the lines are straight. I am pretty well determined that I can make something cool. By swiping with Floatrol, we hope. Let's grab that shovel. And do I have some? Yes. I have some gold mica mixed with all kinds of different pouring mediums and I'm going to use it right down the center, I think. Push that right over. Why waste it? 
it's going to be nice colors. I'm being called to some red. I've never called a red. Oh, I hope I'm not unhappy with this. <laughs> this could be crazy. Red is weird in here. All right, I want some black, and I'm always better off using some black that's that's enamel, because even though the Floetrol works really well, the enamel always works really well. It's an acrylic enamel, it's folk art. I'm going to give myself some more hot orchid. And what did I have over here? I had the purple flash. And the hot orc was over here, so I'm going to do that again. Now in a different world, I could just leave this as it is and call it a painting. I wouldn't have any qualms about it at all. question is, do I have enough gold? Okay, so that's pretty cool, but it's time to grab a swipe card. And preferably one that's not too large to begin with. Well, I say that, and then I think, hmm, maybe we should just go ahead, pour some Floetrol all the way along the edge of that, because I can. Go right in the center. Now I was talking about those gaps and how much I like them, and I really do like them. I'm going to use all of the paint that I have on the edge of my card from swiping it, pulling it over, right there. And I think if I push it all the way over there, then I can use all of that. We've got some really pretty cells. I want to do the same thing. I want to get rid of the rest of the paint on that card. Rather than wiping it off, I'm going to use it. And I picked up the rest with my finger. The black enamel is pretty, pretty intense, so it will definitely. All right, time to flow a trawl again. I thought it might be good to show you guys how much I use. I want a little more pressure this time. Now if you catch the paint that's relaxing on the card initially, then you have a really good shot at using it to cover your edge. I think I liked it with a lighter touch because I like the gaps left behind and you can always fill the gaps in with something else. But at the moment I'm not minding that my edges are pretty well covered. I am just using my finger to remove the residuals. Somewhat, anyway. So now, I'm going to discard that and play with, because it's always an experiment, a different card. And I'd like it to have a round tip on it, and I did make some! They are here somewhere! There we go, that one will work. I just used duct tape and uh, I'm going to dip that. That's just a little piece of acetate. Now, maybe... Maybe I need a scrape dish to scrape my little card off into. And I might even want to wipe that one off. my extra paint out of the way. If I push it back and then forward, I get better coverage. I want to keep remembering to use my flow trawl. So I'm going to push it back and pull it forward. And I'm probably going to do that. Because I can. 
and I may do it all the way down because I have that residual paint on the card and it's really pretty and if I haven't messed with it too much it's going to stay that way and it just keeps coming off that's awesome <laughs> and I can dip back into my little scrape dish and grab a little bit more if I want so that's pretty neat and I can use my little acetate cut tool stuck to a bamboo skewer to to drag through my spaces not that I don't like them because I really do like them but they're not the same on both sides I guess that shouldn't matter so I'm going to wipe that off and use the flow trawl I want to go from one side all the way to the other go back again I think I'm going to wipe that on my Lola Fee silicone mat. i got to remember never to put my little tiny swipe cards down because they stick to the paint. So I went from one side to the other and then I needed to go back in the other direction. This is totally an experiment for sure. Maybe you can tell that. No idea what I'm doing. I just want to try to do new things. I really like what I have left and I don't want it to be destroyed. I'm going to push and then pull. So I'm going to push and then pull. Okay, that didn't work as well. it's not going to work as well. At least I have the hot orchid mostly showing in the middle. I might use a skewer to fill in some of those places by just rolling from side to side. That's kind of neat. There's a bunch of things I like about this. I'm going to take my flow troll and double swipe which is sometimes a risk if you're worried about making mud, but right now I'm just willing to double swipe because the colors look so pretty. I might just keep playing. I gotta remember to take my flow towel, put it on my my little card that does need to be wiped off once in a while. So that's kind of neat. Let's um, let's take the basting brush sideways. Just sideways. Run it ever so slightly through those gaps. In a somewhat random way. No, I can't have orange. I could. I could have some orange. I have colors pop into my head once in a while. <laughs> I'm like, is that a good idea? So just putting little DNA shaped strands in there, which I kind of like the look of, leaving a whole lot of cells behind, trying to decide what, if anything, I want to do with my little gaps, because I certainly can, you know, all it takes is a few minutes. That's pretty neat. This right here, that hard edge. That's pretty neat. I don't like the edge of the gold line. I don't mind it peeking through and I, and I don't mind it in the center mostly. 
but I'm not much on straight lines once I've started to do things with curves. So every time I go up and down with a stroke, I could probably come right back to the place where there's a white line if I wanted to and help let, help cover it by depositing any of the um, residual. Let me grab a painty ended skewer and what will I do? I think I'm going to grab a little bit. of the hot orchid and just put it in my gaps and see how I like that because I suspect I probably will so much so can't talk with a skewer in your mouth So if there's a little blob of paint anywhere where there's a white mark, then I can go through. I'm probably going to be sorry I lost that white. I could put some white metallic dots in there that would probably be pretty cool. So let me see if this is going to work the way I think it is. I've got two minutes to tell you guys that my email address is below the link tree underneath the video and that's the best way to contact me should you want to make a purchase or talk to me about reserving class time because I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. If you are interested in more videos on my YouTube channel, you're going to find playlists, all playlists, created playlists and more than 16, excuse me, more than 1700 and I'm going on 1800 videos. If you have questions for me, please ask me. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, it's underneath the video. The link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. There is a monthly drawing for those of you who are donating to help keep the studio rolling. I am going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint and it might actually release some, some patterns too, which would be okay with me also. So I don't think adding a little bit of that pink can do any harm to anything. Matter of fact, quite to the contrary. And I will pretty much make sure that I don't see any canvas for those of you who are purists. But another time I'm going to remember to put white in because I love white in my compositions lately. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida. I think I said all that at Expression and Start Studio Gallery. Inviting you to Make a donation and be automatically entered in the monthly drawing and you can see what the prizes are should that interest you. Um, the end screen video is the monthly exhibition video and that's where the prizes are shown most likely, most often. And I will automatically email you an entry. Boy, I want, I wish I could drag some of that gold right out. Pretty colors. I want to th say thank you to everybody who's donated to help keep me painting and thank you for the wonderful comments. You keep my morale boosted. Yes, I destroyed a bunch of cells. And uh, this was still a good experiment. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to have to look over there now and see what it says. What it says. Teespring clothing below the video is uh, got all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and if you shop there you help me out. And you definitely will get some cool presents. I destroyed one of my tools. Wound up on the floor. Darn. Okay. I will see you guys anon. And I will try and loosen up my camera mount so I can show you some of this. And I'll try some more stuff soon. Sorry about that. It's really hard. There we go. Oh, stay. Bye for now. Priscilla out.